Hi Mary, I finally got internet, so now I can go over this. Um, when you're doing the corner lateral here, the walking horses tend to move, not all one together. Uh, so you can use that dressage whip, which I'm sure you are, and you know, tap them behind your leg and then you might have to tap them on the shoulder. But they kind of, instead of moving all one together, they kind of either move their front end, then their back end, or their back end, and then their front end. And that's just how they kind of do it in the beginning. So I always usually just do a step or two. I stop, I reward them, tell them they did a good job, I scratch them, and then try it again. Sometimes if you ask for too much, then they just start putting their legs next to each other or crossing it the wrong way. Um, but overall, it was quite nice. So here you put leg yield, but it looks like you're... Uh, doing a haunches in but I thought it was good you didn't do it a long time you just did a couple steps here and there so overall that that looks much nicer as well so his head looks much better you know you're not micromanaging as much you're not micromanaging at all actually anymore so and his headset looks good for helping him stay out of the pace he looks much more relaxed. His back looks rounder. He's stepping up nicely and he doesn't look tense, which he did in the other lesson. So this is much, much better. He has a nice head shake. And he's stepping up pretty good. Uh, it might be the angle of the camera. Here you're pretty good. You're keeping a nice inside bend. When you get to the pole on the other side, Sometimes it looks like you don't keep the bend and you're kind of going straight and then you push them over like right there. So you just want to try to smooth out that circle a little bit more and keep them going at the same speed. Because he changed his speed a little bit there. It just wasn't consistent. So I would have just stopped him and backed him up unless you wanted him to walk forward into it. Once he turned, it was very nice. Uh, you just want to be, sh I wasn't sure if you were asking him to go forward and then you turned or he walked away on you. So if he did walk away, I would stop back up and then ask him again. So he's clear on not moving forward. That turn for some reason is just a little bit funny in that area it just doesn't look it looks more square than staying on a round circle but it's just that one corner the rest of it is pretty good so I'd keep a slight bend and I wouldn't be trying to leg yield him out or anything you know just keep the slight bend and just keep working on his walk okay so now you're walking faster And that's a good speed for his flat walk. See, again, that turn right there looked a little bit funny. You're just trying to keep it smooth and keep the circle the same so he relaxes and he doesn't change his feet as you're getting to the poles. And then you're always trying to get him reach out and forward all over the poles versus him shortening his step. But again, it's much better. It's just some of the time he changes his speed a little bit. So you're just trying to keep that speed as consistent as you can, telling him he's doing a good job when he is. But it's a very nice flat walk. I don't see any paciness anymore. So you're doing really, really well. And his head is fine where it is. It's better right now if we have it very low versus too high till we get that back relaxed and then we'll be picking his head up a little bit higher in time. So now you're going off to the right. So he went fast, then he slowed down a little bit. So to the right, you could be going just a tiny bit faster right now. Let's see if you pick it up. That's better right there. Yeah, that's a good walk. And if you just keep him as much as you can to get to the same spot of the pole every time, the horse will figure out his feet and how to get there smoothly. 
but some of the times people go to the left of the center or they go to the right of the center and then it keeps changing for the horse so they can't relax as much. Uh, but you're doing a great job with the brakes. I would scratch him, that's better. I would give him lots of scratches. They like that much more than pats. And then, you know, you can always, if he has any great steps where he's going really fast, I'd give him a little bit longer of a break. Right there is really nice. So you are getting some spectacular movement out of him. There from the back, I could see his head was shaking a lot, which was nice. Now he's gotten a little bit slower. It's hard because it's just a walk, you know, so it's always hard to tell, did they slow down? Did they speed up? And that's a real hard thing for people to feel it in the beginning. But there you were good. Then he shortened up a little bit for that pull. So just as you're making your turns around your circle, to me it looks like he's, uh, as you're going around the circle, some of the turns look a little bit more square. So I would just try to keep it round and try to smooth it out. Because when it looks square, it looks like you're turning his hindquarters when you're making the circles. And then he loses his rhythm. He's not keeping that same speed around. Okay, now let's go back to this. So you did good there. He got a little pacey. You stopped, you backed him up, and you walked him off immediately. So that was great. That told him it was the wrong answer. This is a very nice walk. And it's hard. It's just trying to keep that same rhythm and being consistent. It looks like he might be like you might be going for a little bit too much speed there, and he's not comfortable in it because he kind of shortened his stride a little bit. So anytime I stop or walk off, which you might have done, I always go slower first and then slowly speed up with the new horses or the horses that are learning. But you did you got a lot of speed when you were just coming towards the camera. But I always try to go through their flat walk and then you're going more towards a running walk with him now. At least for this stage. Yep, that's more of a running walk. And when he's being good, you can be very light with your hands as long as his head is staying down. Yeah. And then use your breathing. If he starts to get fast, open your mouth, take a deep breath in and out. That'll relax your body. They'll feel it. And a lot of times they'll slow down. Very nice. But this is your run. But this is your running walk. You might not know you were doing it, but that was very good. So I just give him more scratches. So here he's slower than you were going the other direction. We'll see if you speed up. Now you're speeding up. So now this is more his running walk. Now he slowed down a little bit. There you're going really nicely. That was a great pull right there. He really reached out and used himself. See right there, it kind of looked more like of a square turn. So and you can go over the poles, like when you're making the circle, you can go over the pole on a diagonal as long as you're going over the center of the pole. I still don't like that one turn as you're going to that pole. <laughs> I'm being picky here. Your dog's like, you're doing a great job. Don't listen to Gay. So here you were slower. Now you're speeding up. So I just like the turns of your circle just to kind of be more round. Like the poles are not even there, even though we're using them. That it just looks like a nice round circle. But sometimes it looks more like a square. That was beautiful. Yep. But you got you have gotten a lot more speed with him, which you might not realize, and he's not pacing, or at least I only saw him pace that one time. Okay, 
So here I think you're going to do your side pass. Uh, they do get confused, and again, they move their front legs and then their back legs. They don't move all together like a quarter horse or a regular horse does. So I would just try to get one good step, stop and scratch them. And then I would keep going the same direction. So now you're going back and forth the other way because sometimes it's confusing. So there he's not crossing over, but I think he's a little confused and he's like, I can't do that much yet. So I would have stayed, keep moving him off of your left leg across the arena. And I always like side pass, get one good step, give him a break. Side pass, get two good steps, give him a break. Side pass, give three good steps, and then give him a break. But you're asking for a fair amount from him, and I think it's just a little bit too much. And it's, it's a difficult movement. Sometimes we don't realize it. So see his hindquarter gets there a little fast. Then you, get, you do get the shoulders to catch up. So I would use less leg to get him to move over. And he's doing it, but he doesn't look happy. He's swishing his tail, and he, he just seems a little bit frustrated. So I would try to do less. That makes sense. So overall, I think you did an excellent job. You're sitting up much taller as well, which is great. And you actually lifted your chin higher. You used to kind of be uh, more forward with your shoulders and your chin. So body position-wise, everything looks very pretty now. You're doing a great job with Zephyr. He now has a flat walk and it, he's getting his running walk. So I would just keep practicing that. I think you're doing a great job. I would try to make the circle just a little bit more rounder and make sure that he's not moving his hindquarters too much because then he loses the speed and he's not as consistent. And try to get to the poles, but you don't have to be straight over the poles. You can go over a diagonal on them. And that way you might be able to keep the circle a little bit rounder instead of a square. I would ask for less steps with the side pass, more breaks, and he could just because he's getting a little confused and he seems like such a nice horse, you don't want him to get frustrated. So more breaks and when you're doing the side pass, stay the one direction and do that for a while, then take a break and then move them off somewhere and then try the other direction. The side pass, we never think is a hard movement, but it actually is quite hard on the horses and it's difficult for them, especially with the walking horses because they never seem to move as one unit. They seem to kind of move as two units, the shoulders and then the hind quarter or the hind quarter and the shoulders. So you want to ask for a little bit less and just keeping him straight. And then when you give him breaks, always stop and make sure he's completely straight so he knows that's the answer. And then I would let him stand for a little bit longer. It'll make more sense to him that he's giving you the right answer. Uh, to keep the rhythm of the flat walk and the running walk, it's difficult because you, you don't know the speed, what to keep. And so you I post those reels and you'll see in some of my videos, there's music that I post along with them and you can use that music, you know, put it on your phone and then just play it while you're going around. And that music can help a lot of people keep that same rhythm. Uh, the other thing, some people put beads in the horse's uh, mane or uh, bells, and then you can hear the bell. So you can hear if the rhythm is changing because sometimes it's hard to feel because you're doing such a great job. Now he's staying quite smooth. And then just when you're going from a flat walk to a running walk, just make sure you always go through the flat walk first, like one circle around or one time around the arena and then push for just a little bit more speed. If it seems as you push for the speed, he, he's shortening his step or he's starting to get tense, then it means you're asking for too much speed back it off a little bit and slow down and use your breathing to slow down. You can use your half halts, but just sometimes opening your mouth, taking a deep breath in and out, the horse will slow down and relax because then they feel that we're relaxing more. But overall, I think he did a great job. His head position is much better. He's much happier with this bit and bravo. I think you've done an awesome job for this being your first gated horse you're working with. That was Pacey, and now you're going around and no one would have any idea that you haven't been riding gated horses all your life. So awesome job.